Race Day America with Carolyn Conley and Scott Hazelton. Today on RDA, Thomas Allen Pauley joins us. He's an artist of horse racing. the glamour of horse racing is not only the who's who in the crowd on the big days, but the beautiful artwork that emanates from the sport that we love so much. And one of those artists who has been capturing some of the highlights in our sport is Thomas Allen Polly, who's joining us right now by telephone on Race Day America. Thomas, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me. Well, it's an exciting week coming up at Arlington, and I understand you will be very close to the paddock with your artwork on display. Tell us what's going on. Well, I did, um, I'm going to be doing the Arlington Million poster this year, and um, we're going to be featuring Gio Ponte in that poster, and um, um, he may be the, the first horse to win back-to-back -back at Arlington Million, so we're very excited about that. And portions of the proceeds of the poster sales will be going to Permanently Disabled Jockeys Fund, which is uh, a fund that I'm um, an avid supporter of. Thomas, when were you bitten by the horse racing bug? Well, in 1978, a friend of mine, um, Dave Gonzalez, his dad owned harness horses, and I was at a party, and um, there's like 12 of, us, 12 of us at this party, and um, he says, let's go to Sportsman's Park, and his horse, Rusty Wynn, was racing that night, and uh, the horse ended up winning by five lanes, and we all got in a winner's circle, and um, I was hooked. I've never been to a racetrack before that point, and... Um, about a week later, I got the, the wind pitcher from uh, my friend's dad, and I decided to do a portrait of the horse, and um, his dad ended up buying it, and I was hooked ever since that moment. And we had the opportunity to meet you in Dubai this year. Yes. What a spectacle with the opening of Maidan. Um, but one of the, the, the paintings that I know you're most proud of and I found to be absolutely spectacular is a confirmation shot of Secretariat and Bill Knack is kind of the expert when it comes to Secretariat writing the book and such a huge fan and I understand he had pretty positive things to say about this as well. Well a couple of years ago after um, I had done the painting I, I ran into him and I showed him a picture of it and uh, he was just blown away by it. He said that you know he's seen many pictures or many paintings of Secretariat but this one's one of the closest resemblance he's ever seen and I take that as a big honor because, I mean, he's been around that the horse probably more times than anybody except Mrs. Jennery, probably. probably but, uh, um, yeah, I, I sat back and I thought, well, he knows Secretariat. It looks unbelievable. I mean, it almost looks, almost looks like a photograph that you see in the stallion pages in the Blood Horse Registry or Thoroughbred Times Registry. How did you paint this? When, when did you, or what image were you going off of to paint something like well, that? Well, actually, in uh, 1984, I had the opportunity to uh, go out to Claiborne Farms, and I took my own photos of it. And at that time, I was really involved with harness racing, and, and um, I still recognized how great this the stallion was when he came out. I mean, he just started posing for, for, there was a few of us there, photographers, just started posing like he knew exactly what to do in front of these cameras. And it was just really, really amazing. And at the time, you know, it's just like, oh, you know, Secretariat, that's great and all that stuff. But my heart was in harness racing at that point. But now I cherish these photos. I mean, it's not always that, that um, an artist gets to go out and take uh, photographs of champions like that. And, of course, um, the, that, the woman closest to Secretariat, um, Penny uh, Tenery Tweedy, has a, a, you have a picture of her holding up one of your portraits of the Secretariat silks. Tell us about that. Um, a couple of years ago, um, Arlington was honoring her as the uh, women in racing. It was the inauguration of that uh, um, Charity Foundation and um, um, Christine Gabriel commissioned me to do a portrait of uh, Mrs. Chenery's silks, and they gave it to her as a gift. And uh, um, just recently, her daughter Kate called me up and asked if she could use that painting in the new book that's going to be coming out. I believe it's coming out in a couple weeks. It's, uh, it's all about the Secretariat and about metal farms and about the family and um, all the associations. Um, with the Secretariat. 
Thomas, uh, you've got your Giaponte painting for this year's million, as we showed before, perhaps commemorating the first back-to-back -back champion of that uh, great race. What, but you're going to be at Arlington on Friday and Saturday. Uh, are you going to be painting? And if so, what are you going to be painting? You know, I originally was going to be painting, but now that we're doing this Arlington Million poster uh, or print, we're going to, or I'm actually going to be signing posters and that now. Um, what, one of the big things about the um, possibility of, or the problems with painting at the Million was because I'm also a photographer for Illinois Racing News, so I have to actually photograph the whole race and, and the whole events at Arlington also, so it it became a problem with uh, logistics about painting out there, but I, I may do it on Friday still, but I'm going to be signing for a couple hours on Friday and then Saturday just outside the gift shop. What would it take to commission a Carolyn Conley portrait? Oh, stop. Can we see that Giovanni painting one more time? And uh, this is now the official poster of the Arlington Million and uh, a spectacular job painting Giapani in you. this shot. And um, you can see these posters at Arlington. They'll actually have the Arlington insignia right below it with a white background. And Thomas, what an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous Thanks. piece of work. I'm really looking forward to this weekend. I mean, it's a, it's a huge deal for you know Arlington and, and for Chicago with the Arlington Million. And I think there's going to be a lot more interest this year because of the possibility of back-to-back -back winners with Gio Ponte and um, I, I could see this being an ongoing thing where every year I'm going to be doing the previous winner for the Arlington Million poster and who knows it may be Gio Ponte again next year. Um, that photograph, although I usually take all my own photographs, that photo that I used of Gio Ponte was from uh, Doug Clark from Four Footed Photos and and it was just a great photograph. I asked him if I could use it, and uh, he gave thumbs up. And about a uh, month ago, one of his uh, cameras jammed, and he asked to use one of my photographs for an, for uh, for the publications in the, in the Chicago Tribune. So. After that, he says we're even now. Nice. Well, well done. We look forward to uh, seeing the fans assemble for the big day with the Arlington International Festival of Racing. Thomas, enjoy it, and thanks for sharing your time with us today. Thank you very, very much for having me.